Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Francisco. How are you? Um, I am fine. And you? That's nice. I'm okay. Thank you for asking. How was your day? Um, my day was good, although I had a high fever, but better no. So you got high fever? Yes. Uh, did you drink something? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All afternoon, I have what? Headache. Headache. Okay. Headache. Oh, did you see the doctor, or you're yeah. waiting? Oh. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Yes. I hope that you feel better. Maybe it's the weather since it's been changing, right? Let's hope so. Yes, maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the rest of you guys, how are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today, Nami? Fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. Nice to hear that. How was your day? It's a uh, very work. Oh, uh, heavy. See, have heavy, heavy work. Oh. I I went to to Cara Sucia and Nahuizalco to to buy um, in mobiliario. Uh, uh, is the merchandise? Yes. Yes. Oh. God. So like furniture for office or for home? Uh, for office. For office. For office. Okay. Furniture for office. Furniture oh. for office. Yes. All right. Interesting. Good evening, teacher. Yes. Good evening Juan. So uh, you have a very productive day. Interesting. So, and the rest of you, what did you do today? How was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Belen. How are you? Fine, teacher. Here. Right, arriving to my home. You're just arriving. Yeah, uh, maybe a few minutes ago. Was the traffic heavy or you left uh, for work late? Yeah, I work, I, uh, I, I work. You work so late early. today. Yeah, and the traffic was heavy. I'm here for El Constitución. So, oh, yeah, that is always very heavy it, traffic. Yeah. In the morning was awful because uh, in the midnight was raining. So it's like, I don't know what people have with the rain that it's like they uh, became crazy. Yes, they, they do the opposite, right? When it is raining, people speed up <laughs> and exactly. then cra crash exactly. accidents and everybody is like desperate, stressed out. So, yeah, but it should be like the contrary, right? People should be more careful when it is raining. Yeah, but, exactly. But well, now that's, that's the way <laughs> cookies crumble in El Salvador. <laughs> and it's like in the rain, Everyone have cars. Ah uh, yes, yes. Like people don't people don't want to travel by bus. They take the car. So that but is it's more so traffic. difficult because, for example, uh, I think maybe Thursday of the past week, I passé, I drove. I throw for one hour only in the Constitution. So you spent or spent, sorry. One hour. One in hour. In traffic. In a traffic. 
Oh. And then I have to uh, take uh, took the other bus to Escalón. So, so complicated. Oh my God, sorry. And what do you do when you're traffic? You're listening to music or you're just thinking in I'm English? My, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know has the what is the path of read, road? Red, like red. the color. Uh -huh, you write it. Uh -huh, you yeah. write the same, but it is pronounced like the color, red. Ah, okay, red. I read, I like to read. I, and, uh, even today, I finished my second book. Which I was bought a Kindle, and it was so easy to my life because I just downloaded all the books. I don't have to uh, carry all the 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 paper or, or something like that. So it's wonderful. And are those books in English or in Spanish? This one was in Spanish. Uh, the second one, because I left uh, one in 33%. And the third one that I'm going to start yesterday uh, will be in English because uh, I will, I don't let it uh, Alice in El País de las Maravillas. Creo que en ah. inglés sería Wonder, Alice in Wonderland. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So like I already know some of the history. I'm trying to read it in, in English. I think it's a vocabulary that I can maybe understand. But because I already, I want to read even the, the Silent of the Lambs, the movie. You already know the movie? No, I don't think so. Uh, but it's kind of complicated because it's like psychologists and investigation and it's kind of complicated vocabulary. So I don't trust reading something like that yet. <laughs> no, no, no. Better to start with simple things that is going to yeah. be better for you. And then you can uh, increase the 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 vocabulary, uh, the, the difficulty or the level of difficulty. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that okay. that's how to spend my time. But it's interesting. It is a, a, a wise way to spend the time when you're at traffic. Yeah. Not just by looking at the other passengers and what is it? Okay, look at these shoes. No. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a waste it, of time. It's, 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 it, it is a time of your life that you realize that people in your in all you around that around you. It doesn't care too much. <laughs> yes, it's better to take advantage of that time. And you're doing yeah. <laughs> great. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else would like to share? How was the day for today? Teacher, dice Yuri que no se va a poder conectar. Ha puesto ahí en el chat. Mm -hmm. Sí, ya vi que no se va a poder conectar. Gracias por dejarme saber. Aquí está. Sí, gracias. Um, okay, so I think that it is time to check attendance. Thank you for being on time, everybody. Let's remember, uh, you have to turn on your cameras and say present as, you're, as soon as you hear your name. So let me get the file. I had it right here. Andrea Laurena. Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. Belen Batras. Present teacher. Thank you, Belen. Carlos Mario Avedaño. Carlos Mario. Carmen René Calderón. Carmen René. Um, no está Carmen. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Nehemías. Present. Thank you. Helen Dionelli. Helen. Present teacher. Thank you, Helen. It is Joanna. Present. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz. Marisela del Carmen. Marisela del Carmen. It's not present. Mm, Moises Alberto. Presentation. Thank you. Noemi Albertina. Present teacher. Thank you, Noemi. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you. Reina Margarita. Reina Margarita. Rubén de Jesús. Rubén de Jesús. Stephanie Guadalupe. Stephanie Guadalupe. Judy Araceli. Judy Araceli. Present. Thank you. Jose Rudy. Jose Rudy. Creo Present que... teacher. Thank you, Jose. Ana Mercedes. Ana Mercedes. María Angélica Godínez. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Imelda Elizabeth. Susana Esmeralda. Susana Esmeralda. Okay, so let's see. We're going to check later as well. Vamos a chequear más tarde. Faltan bastantes ahora. Pero bueno. Ha de ser lluvia o tráfico. So let's begin with today's presentation. I sent it a few minutes ago. Let's see. And I added um, a couple of things. All right. The first one is this. I added this because yesterday I noticed that the, the topic of the models, yes, it's kind of clear for you. I know that you can handle it. But we're going to, Juan, please stop. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. Sorry. Sí? I was read, I, sorry, I read yesterday that I tried to investigate something about the, the, the might and the might and cool. Mm -hmm. And um, something that I read, it's like kind of possibility, but the example was for levels for example the mind it's like a hundred possibility that it could happen and then the may it's like 30 possibility that could happen uh -huh. and the cool it's like it's not possible or it not depends of me at all that happens but it's it's trying it's like confuse me because it, I I already used the cool, the may or, or the mind in my conversation, but it's like um, for the foul, for the silo It's not. It's it's a rule that I doesn't know. I I don't know. Sorry. Okay. So yes, that is why we are going to make this review, and uh, um, that is nice of you that you're doing your your investigations on your own because it is more information for you and yes this is a general review we're going to study all the models auxiliaries in this video 
So the instruction is to go to the link and in groups, you're going to create a presentation. You're going to provide one example for each modal auxiliary and the explanation for each one is going to be in your own words, like, like you just uh, did. So you're going to explain, you're gonna watch the video. It, this is similar, like the thing that you did yesterday that you watched the video and today you are sharing what you understood from that video. That is uh, what you, everybody's going to do and we're going to do it in groups. You're gonna watch the video, explain what are the uses of each auxiliary in your own words. And also you're going to provide one example per each auxiliary on your own. Please do not use the same examples in the video. The idea of this is that you practice more and that you produce your own examples. And we're gonna do this in groups. And remember that the presentation, you can take notes, you can write it down, you can present it in a PowerPoint or you can present it in a Word the idea of this is that you get a topic and that you are able to understand and produce your own examples. It doesn't matter if you didn't write it in a Word or in a PowerPoint, but you have to participate and provide your own examples. I know that you're doing what you can, which is perfect. It is not necessary to make a very beautiful, colorful presentations with pictures and things like that, no. It can be a simple thing. The, the most important thing is that you understand and that you practice, okay? It's not the physical presentation. <laughs> All right, is the instruction clear? Yes, teacher. Nice, so I'm going to create the breakout rooms and remember to go and watch this video in groups and then you're going to discuss. Let's see, and I'm going to send it through WhatsApp later. Just let me allow you to share a screen because I'm, okay. It's set for you to share. Now let's make the breakout rooms. Only three because we have few participants. Okay. Teacher, ya nos envió el link. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
Did you finish? No, teacher. We no. have technical problems. We I... cannot uh, hear the, the, the video. Oh, really? Yeah. And the rest of you? We need okay. a few. Watch it uh, six minutes. <laughs> okay, and I see that you have more time also, no, Miss Brooke? Yes. yes. Okay, I'll give you more time for you to finish. Let me move to the rooms again. Teacher, Thank pero you, no teacher. nos puede decir que cómo tiene usted la configuración de su mic de su ajá, de su Exacto, micrófono. Exacto, teacher, porque eso es lo que es que no podemos hacer que hable el video, que se reproduzca sí, pero si por ejemplo Andrea lo reproduce, ella no se escucha y el video sí. Y después ya no supimos qué fue lo que hicimos. <risa> eh, cuando yo entro a la meeting de una vez, me pone si quiero entrar con computer, con el audio de la computadora y le pongo que sí. Uh -huh. ¿Con el audio de la computadora? Sí. Y, y no me da ese problema que eh, si no, tal vez alguien más podría compartir, tal vez no, o a todos les da el mismo problema. No, teacher. La mayoría. Okay. Ne, solo en este grupo. Uh -huh. Lo que pasa es que aquí solo Andrea tiene la computadora, los demás estamos en teléfono y desde teléfono a mí no me deja, no, no me dejó tampoco. Sí, ahí solo que Andrea pase el video y, y pues mientras está corriendo el video ella no va a poder hablar porque ahí sí no, no sé cómo ya es una cosa técnica o de su computadora, no sé, o de cómo ya ha configurado su um, Zoom, no sé. Tal vez en los settings También. pueda encontrar algo en la, donde está como un engranaje. Tal vez ahí en settings, va yéndose a audio, tal vez puede encontrar. Hay una algo. opción que se llama compartir audio. Aparte uh -huh. de, el video tiene que compartir el audio para que se pueda escuchar. Ajá. O si no, no salen los comandos. Uh -huh. Intenten, los voy a unir y los que igual estaban a medias con la presentación que les faltaba poquito para terminar van a poder hacerlo. Y igual con ustedes hasta donde puedan llegar.
Okay, let's see the room number one. Helen's group. We teacher. Okay, are you ready to present? You can share your presentation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, we understand that only, only write about three mothers, may, might, and could. Mm, it was a general review about all of them, but no worries, that's okay. If you just did about three, that's what you have and that's what you're going to present, that's okay. Okay. And, and then um, we, we write um, yes, um, some uh, sentences about May. And the first is, I may go to play soccer on weekend with my friend. And the other, other com uh, compañeros. <laughs> For example, Margarita. Would you please? Good evening. Continue. Uh, okay, and Mike, it is my rain lines. Uh, in my time to tomorrow. Um, when I when my a bright bright tomorrow in the house. Okay, Moises. Uh, yes. It's my very very late. I might call with the mother. The man eats breakfast tomorrow in the house. In Rafael. Rafael. Hola, hola. Eh, Helen. ¿Puedo leer yo? Sí, sí, claro. We could, um, you could take the bus or taxi to go to, uh, to go to the, uh, the office. Could you help me, please? You could go for the children. Okay. This is Yes, we can uh, use the modal auxiliary verbs to possibility and uh, permission. In in this case, um, eh, por eso eh, escribimos esto, ¿verdad? Could you help me, please? Um, como permiso. Uh -huh. Y una posibilidad de que va a llover más tarde. Okay, so in summary for you, all those are used to express possibilities or permissions. Okay, and yes. you did uh, some examples. And what is the difference with between may and might? Mi teacher, uh, may is is used to the possibility uh, in in formal uh, form in in model in model in informal in and my is uh, more formal mm. to 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 mm. say uh, possibilities and per per permission my my is this uh, a, 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 a
let's see. Um, not exactly, but you got the idea on how to use them. You did nice examples, so the examples are okay. So it means that you get um, you get the idea on how to use them, which is perfect. Thank you so much for your presentation. Let's um, let's listen to the room number two. Here is Andrea. Thank you. Thank you so much. Teacher, nosotros no hicimos este presentación, pero las copiamos en el, en el cuaderno. Nice. Good. You can do it that way. Excellent. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se las podemos presentar? Uh, you can explain what you got from the video, the uses of, of the models that you get. If you just did about three, that's okay. If you did it about all of them, perfect. You can share them uh, using the meeting chat. You can share the examples using the meeting chat or just read them. It's up to you. Okay, just read it. May and Mike. Como, May como ustedes Mike. sientan más fácil, si solo lo quieren leer, that's okay. Y si lo quieren escribir en el chat de la meeting también. Aquí estamos haciendo lo que se puede y lo que vale es el esfuerzo que ustedes están haciendo. ¿okay? No es que solo no terminamos, pero aunque sea de lo primero del video, aquí está. That's okay. Lo que importa es su esfuerzo. Entonces lo van a hacer nada más leído, está bien. Ok, good. May and me, Mike. May I go to the bathroom? And I might to go to the party. Más fuerte, please. Me escuchan. Yes. Ay, sí. <laughs> Vaya. May and Mike. May I go to the bathroom and I might go to the Paris next year. Could and can. Could you help me with the homework? If could fly, I will discover a lot of countries. Most and most not. You must not eat a lot of junk food. Uh, need and need to. I need to buy a, a umbrella. And you need to drink your vitamins. That's all, teacher. Mute. <laughs> okay, you, you did a little bit. It's, it's nice. So it was very nice that you point out the uses of may and might. And this is important to, to uh, explain, right? That you can use uh, may, to ask for permission, but you cannot use might for permission. So you did it. the two examples were nice examples in the perfect situations. You did it excellent. And the difference when we are making predictions, okay, let's put, let's put it like this. Uh, if you are asking for permission, you use may, like, like the example you say, may I go to the bathroom? If you are um, making predictions, you can may, you use might. You can use may to make predictions too, but uh, the, the idea of using both for prediction is when you use may, it's the, the possibility is stronger than using might. That is the main difference between those, those two regarding to the use of them uh, making predictions, but nice. It was a little but nice examples. Very well done with the um, proper situations that you used. Excellent job. Thank you so much. And then we have the last group in the room number three, which is- Just a question. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, 
I have a, a question about the verb or fly because I I I did the sentences with if I could fly I will discover a lot of countries but I was thinking that maybe not fly the verb the correct verb because fly is like a bird but fly with a plane it's different so I have a question with that. Can you write the example on the chat? Because I I am yeah, I can I, 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 you, you like I, 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 Yeah, the sentence is said uh, if I could fly, I will discover a lot of countries. But I have a, a little confused because I don't know if fly is only uh, the action, the 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 the, 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 the vola. Or it's in a, if I fly in a plane, for example, or only it's fly for the beers. Uh, I don't know if I. It is correct. Mm -hmm. Your example is, is correct. correct. Mm -hmm. Fly. Oh, so yeah. you say fly is the action, okay? Okay. Fly is the verb. Fly Entonces, is a noun. It is not an no, action. Correcto. Pero me refiero que si, por ejemplo, yo usé el verbo fly para decir conocer países, ¿es correcto o es otro verbo dirigido para esa área? ¿Es lo mismo? No, si no. usted dice flight, es nada más la acción de volar. Esa uh -huh. era la duda que tenía. Okay. Sí. Es solamente volar. Yeah, mm -hmm. Y yo le entendí que dijo que podía volar para conocer otras tierras. Y sí está bien. The player. Mm -hmm. No es lo mismo. Correcto, correcto. No, esa no, es la razón como tal, pero estaba confundida si era el verbo correcto para yeah, definir esa acción. Mm -hmm. Sí, para decir que volar para conocer está bien, porque si lo va a hacer en avión tendría... Eh, está, tiene sentido que lo utilice. Volar para conocer different countries. That is okay. Y flyer, no, Juan. Flyer es un papelito, un volante. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, let us listen to group number three. Ay, eso hay ver si. Uy, ojalá no deje terminar esto. Okay, the group number three is Delmi Guadalupe, Iris, Jose Arnoldo, Maria Angelica, Judy. Okay. Um, the model birds are helping birds or auxiliary birds that are used with main birds. Serve to express obligation, commanding, or ordering. And Judy? Okay, serve, okay. Charis, characteristic of modal verbs. They never change their form. For example, teacher can, can teach English class well. Continue. Yes. Okay. Uh, they are always followed by the by the base, base form of the verb. For example, Joanna will present our work in class. Joa. They are used to indicate modality which allow speakers to express a mode which has permission, obligation, prohibition, lack of necessary. Carmen. Perdón, teacher y compañeras, pero he tenido muchos problemas con la lluvia. Se escucha bien. Yes. Vaya, eh, se la... Entramos a las compañeras, eh... teacher. Pueden deshabilitar las anotaciones para que no estemos traveseando o manchando la presentación de los compañeros. Ahí donde dice, aquí en los comandos, ahí pueden ver, anotar y pueden darle erase y deshabilitar. Ok. 
Okay, and then you can continue. Function of my verbs. May, my. We use many to express a formal permission or request. And we use my to express a possibility. Example, to may start working for a moment. Permission. Or both might help you in your problem. Possibility. Mari? Uh, can you can drive fast? You can't drive faster near of a school zone. Uh, should you should eat during the class? Shouldn't sorry? Shouldn't eat during the class? And they are more gentle way to express yourself. And um, Jose. Arnoldo. The difference between may and might, might is the past tense of may. Mm, he might have called earlier, but I was not home. I might go to the movies tonight. Finish. Okay, you did an excellent job. I love your presentation. You're fast, really fast. <laughs> and you did it amazing. So that was nice and you cover all of them. So the idea of this was to review the models auxiliaries, which is um, something that uh, I think that we did successfully. And despite of the fact that we have some inconveniences with the internet or resources in general, but you managed to do it and you did it excellent. So uh, I know people is reporting some problems with uh, because of the rain, but we are going to try to complete the class, all right? So thank you so much. And let's move to the next slide. So we already review. And in here, in the conversation that you have in your material, it is on the page number 15, if you download the material, uh, there is this conversation, please stop. Okay, so um, we have uh, this conversation and as you can see, there is uh, the use of could. You could discount, okay? You might want to have a promotional activity or you could offer. So we are using the auxiliaries that you already review. So uh, we have this, let's see. Let's make a quick read to the to the conversation and let me know if you have any questions in regards of vocabulary. Meet one to home. You call it over offer. No questions about the vocabulary? Teacher, right. spicy is like picante. Yes, it's spicy. It's, it's like, um, you can say that hot is picante. Hot is picante. Spicy también es un picante, pero que lo proveen especies. Uh, especias. <laughs> Las especias. Okay, a veces demasiada pimienta tiende a 
provocar que la comida sea picante. Entonces, si es spicy, eh, se refiere a picante. Con, con, cuando nos hemos excedido de especias que son calientes y pueden dar uh, esa sensación, entonces es spicy. También se puede referir a algo picante como hot. Pero cuando se ha añadido directamente chile, ¿verdad? Un chile picante. Teacher. ¿Sí? Y, cuando es Ligui, ¿qué se refiere? Luigi es el, una persona. Una persona. Sí, es un nombre propio. Uh -huh. Teacher, what does it mean, hook? Basketball. Basketball. Uh, where exactly? ¿A dónde exactamente está la palabra? Aquí está lloviendo fuerte, me cuesta Luego de, luego de pepper sticks and you hook. Ahí, you hook. Ah, ahí pepper abajito. stick and you hook them up. With the, es uh -huh. como los enganchas. A hook es enganchar. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, se está refiriendo a cómo atrapar, cómo a, a, a enganchar a los, a, a los clientes. Uh -huh. Una, Any other question? una pregunta con, con la palabra que, que acaba de explicar. Esa sería como un phrase, Albert. ¿Funciona con el up? Sí, va con el up. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Y then it's the top. The top. Discount. Discount. Eh, descuento. Discount es descuento. Descuento. Oaks es costo. Teacher. Yes. Cost es costo. And where, where exactly? Cost. Uh -huh, Ajá, yeah, costo. Save cost. Ajá, uh -huh, ahorrar costos. Right, I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms. I'm going to make them smaller so that you can practice this conversation. Logran ver. Sí. sí. Yes, yes. Sí. Si gusta, somos, sí, somos cuatro. Empiece Juan y luego. Eh, ¿Quién está proyectando? Delmi. Delmi. Sí. Ok, después. entonces si gusta, no. empiecen ustedes dos y luego vamos eh, Imelda y yo. Eh, está bien. ¿Está bien? Bien, piensa, Ligi, Ligi. Algo. Bueno. Ligi. Oh, empieza usted y después yo. Ay. Luigi is going to introduce and. ¿Dónde lo tengo? ¿Dónde lo tengo? ¿Dónde lo tengo? Creo que está. No podemos compartir. Sí. Ah, usted está compartiendo. Y lo único que eh, sí. Eh, esa la mandé antes de la clase. Hola. Ok, ok. okay. Yeah, si no la tienen, les puedo compartir. Eh, la debe de tener en el WhatsApp. 
mandé esa presentación, aunque estaba en la de ayer también, en la conversación. Ok. Uh -huh. O oh, la puede buscar en el material también, en el PDF. Sí. Uh -huh. En el PDF está. Sí. Okay. Ya está. Está, es. Ok. Bueno, compañeros. Si ¿Sí lo pueden ver. Sí. Ok. Bueno, ¿qué va a hacer Carla? Dos y dos, comenzamos dos, después otro dos y ahí está. ¿Y por qué son tres? Sí. Okay. sí, son tres personas. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, no, son dos, dos. Mr. Sanders, creo. Carla, Mr. Sand, ah, ¿cómo no? Sí, solo, solo son dos personas. Carla y Mr. Sanders. Ok, voy a ser Mr. Sanders. Ok, y usted, Carla, entonces. Juan Ricardo y... ¿Y yo comenzamos? Sí, sí. Bye. Mm -hmm. uh, Louis is going to introduce a new king of the spice pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to solve costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them and you hook them up with the spicy pizza i didn't think of that sound like a good eating you may want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I would can do later. Luigi is inside the restaurant giving free sample, free sample, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spice. Okay. Ahora, ¿quién? Noemi. Si gusta, comience, Noemi. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spice. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new tier of spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell, then customer will get the green pepper sticks and you hot hook them up with the spicy pizza. Ideal thing of that sound like a good idea. You okay. might want one is idea. Idea. Idea, yes. Okay. You might want to have a promotion activities close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who brought, bought, bought a ticket for the event. The fight. Rafa. I'm sorry. <laughs> my microphone is mute. Oh my, <laughs> I will call you later. 
Luigi is outside the restaurant giving examples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in, a, in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. Helen, Helen, Helen. How about promotional activity of the restaurant? You know you could discount the green paper and stick that never sell. The consumer will get the green paper stick and you up the up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, Rafael. You might, you might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or baseball games. You could offer a discount to people who bought the ticket for the event. Oh my, we'll call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but, uh, but, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Finish. <laughs> Okay, let me share the screen again with you. I was able to join in most of the rooms and I identified some words that were mispronounced in a couple of rooms. So the first teacher, is kind. Ha pasado lista, teacher. Ya pasé, eh, la otra la paso tipo a un cuarto a las diez. Ya la voy a pasar otra vez. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, okay. okay. No worries. Uh, then it's uh, the word that I heard kind of a couple of times that was mispronounced was kind. Let's repeat. Kind. 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 Mm -hmm. Kind. Spicy. 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 Save. 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 Promotional. 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 Oh, promotional. Promotional. Uh, this is a discount. 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 Sticks. Esta es así como se... Sticks. sticks. Green pepper sticks. Sticks. And this one is hook. And the hook. Idea. 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 And that's it. Uh, Teacher, telling. sample, 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 the, the mm -hmm. word, sample. Teacher, also the word yes. mean uh, uh, the pronunci pronunciation is meek or myth. Meek, myth. Oh. In, in which part? It's might. Uh, might. This might. one. Might. 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 Mm -hmm. Might. 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 
Yes, might. Eh, en en otras ocasiones la, la HT o es al revés, la TH suena como F. Might. No, might. might. Digamos might. que la, la H la no es, suena. La G es como se ha de último, Moisés. Sí, es la que lo, eso es cuando la T va primero y luego la, ah, la no, H sí, es sí. que suena así. Pero, Pero cuando might. va antes de la T, la H no suena. Might. Mike. Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike, what? Is Do there any power. other question? I don't know. Everything is for me, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're Thank welcome. You, Do we uh, have. Sorry, I don't have a question because I think that the, the, the might want to have. You, you will explain later, or I can push, I have asked for that. Of the explanation of the uses of the auxiliaries. Yeah, it's like three moral verbs. Uh, yes, the, those are like the specific ones that we are going to practice in this. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, do we have two volunteers to role play this conversation? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. I don't I'm know who say me, but you can start first. I'm going to be Mr. Sanders. That's not fair. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Lee is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new products. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with a spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You may want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi It's outside the restaurant, give her free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Excellent job. Very well done. You did it excellent and it was very fluent. Nice job. Congratulations. Thank excellent. You. Do we have Thank other you. two volunteers? Me, teacher? Yes. Yes. Judy? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Good job, Judy. Yes. Yes. Me? Andrea. Okay, Judy and, and Andrea. Okay, and Judy me. and Andrea, please. Okay. Yes. I, I start. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spice, spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan, yeah. but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the, for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is Super spicy. 
Excellent. You did it very nice, very nice. And I felt like, oh my, <laughs> like you were very, really worried. <laughs> so you, the intonation was okay as well. Nice job. Excellent. I heard someone, um, someone else. You can raise your hand because it, it is um, Francisco. I have Francisco in Carlos Mario. Okay, Francisco and Carlos Mario. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of space pizza to the menu. You work in action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper a stick that never sell. Then customer will get the green pepper stick and you hook them up with the pizza, with the spicy pizza. I don't think of that sound like a good idea. You may want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call, I will call you later. Luigi is outside, outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Awesome. I just heard just a couple of words, but yes, at the same time that you said and you identified that it was mispronounced, you corrected yourself, which is good because um, uh, it means that you are uh, learning and you are correcting the, the, the word that you mispronounced because yourself, you know that it is, it is not okay. So very good job. I... I am really proud of you because you are applying everything that you are learning here, corrections and, and more. So let's continue with the next. Uh, in this, we are going to look at the conversation and complete the sentences with the auxiliary. For example, the number one said you discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. According to this conversation, the auxiliary that they use is could. Mm. Yes. So number one, it says you could discount the green paper stick that never sell. The number two, you remember what was the model auxiliary that they used? Might. 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 Excellent. You might, might. want to. Might. May or might. Let's check. <laughs> Might. might, yeah, might. Might. here it is. Might. You might, might want to have a promotional, etc. You might want to have a pro yes, to close to a big event like a concert or baseball game, etc. Let's see the number three. It says you offer cool, cool. 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 Let's see. Cool. You could, yes, you could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Okay, so uh, this activity, we're going to do it probably at the end or tomorrow, it will depend. Here in this page, you have the explanation of these two, particularly these two model auxiliaries. When are we going to use could or might? And in this particular case, we are uh, using them to make formal suggestions or requests. Sorry, can you bring me only five minutes, please? Sure. Okay. Okay. Um, so as you see, it we're going to focus on this specific two model auxiliaries. And in this specific use, as you uh, already review, 
they are used for different things, for different purposes. It can be to express possibilities in the present, in the future, abilities in the past. They have um, plenty of uses. So, but in this case, we are going to focus on could and might to make formal suggestions or requests. In the case of could, we are going to use it just to make suggestions. In this case, we have, you could talk to your manager about bundling, okay? Products for promotional events. And the other example, it says, you could generate business in a community event, okay? So in this case, it is being used just to uh, provide suggestions. And then we have might. It says might is like uh, used often with want or like to add politenesses. So you may want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. You might like to schedule a promotional event along with a holiday like Black Friday. So in this case, you're making formal suggestions or requests, but if you use might and you add want or like, it's just with the purpose of adding politeness. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, so it will depend. So it is very flexible. It is not like a, a, a specific rule and say here I used uh, might and I should use could and it's just completely incorrect. Not in this case. You can use either or the different is how do you want to make it? If you want to make it like just uh, um, formal or you can uh, add more and make it polite. That is the only difference. So it is not like, oh, this is totally incorrect. No, the, the, this topic is kind of flexible. So you don't have to feel worried or frustrated because you say, ah, oh, but you got, you got confused because both are for suggestion. So yes, you can use either or, but it depends the way uh, you wanna make it and with whom you wanna express your suggestions, right? Because if you suggest, uh, something to your boss, probably you will need to use might like or might want to make more polite because you are making a suggestion to your boss. Okay, so in this case, yes, it is important for you to know that might is more formal for suggestions or requests. Yeah. Are we clear on that? Yes. Teacher, uh, yes. yo comprendo que, que el, el might es como, como más cortés, más, más amable, ¿verdad? Este, que, que could. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Es, sí, es, exacto. Ajá. Entonces, sí. lo que les decía que los, los modales tienen muchos usos para expresar probabilidades en el presente, en el pasado, en el futuro para hacer predicciones, para hablar de posibilidades, pero en este caso eh, nos estamos enfocando en para hacer sugerencias, para sugerir algo. En esto, could y might, los dos son para hacer sugerencias. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia? Digamos que could no es que sea rudo o informal y que si lo uso es punitivo, ¿verdad? Horrible, no. Puede usar could en cualquier situación. Solo que eh, might es más formal. Por ejemplo, usted viene y le quiere hacer una sugerencia a su jefe. Es como algo delicado, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que llegar con mucha formalidad, eh, que sea algo como muy, eh, eh, que suene lo más formal y, y, y amable, no que estamos imponiendo, ¿verdad? O dando nuestras ideas así de golpe, sino que haciendo una sugerencia bien así como, Podría, pero si quieres no, yo no más decía. Entonces ahí es mejor usar might si le está haciendo una sugerencia a alguien así y quiere sonar más, más formal. Y el agregar, eh, por ejemplo, en could no, no dice nada de agregarle want o like. 
Pero en el caso de might, si lo queremos hacer todavía más formal, eh, más bonito, más, de manera más cortés, entonces podemos agregar want o like. Por ejemplo, you may want o you might like. You might want or you might like. Para hacerlo más formal. Puede dejar might solito, pero si todavía like. quiere hacerlo más, este, ¿cómo se dice? Más polite. Como más o, educado. Más educado, claro. más, más formal, más, uh, ajá. Le puede agregar want o like. Pero es como les digo, es, es opcional, no es algo como que estricto, pegado a una regla y lo tiene que hacer by the book. No. Es como escribamos a my the book o porque diga my basketball o my basketball part. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí depende como lo queramos usar. En, y tenemos este ejercicio acá, pero bueno, ahorita voy a chequear asistencia y luego regresamos para desarrollar el ejercicio y mañana completaríamos lo que nos hace falta. Vamos muy bien con el tiempo, eh, entonces mañana empezaríamos la sección 2. Terminaríamos un par de ejercicios, siempre todo es relacionado con lo del restaurant industry, pero vamos a seguir reforzando con lo de los modal. Pero sí, me alegra que hayan comprendido los usos y, y que pues no es algo como que, sí es algo bastante flexible. No hay como un tema que nos vaya a quitar el sueño porque es extremadamente difícil. No. no. El coffee, el coffee. Check oh, attendance. And cheeks. Okay. Okay. Andrea Laurena. <laughs> Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. Um, Belén Batres. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mario. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen René. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you so much. Francisco Nehemías. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Le toca one on one. Si se puede quedar o si se siente ya muy malito, me avisa. Está bien. Helen Dionelli. Present teacher. Iris Joana. Present. Okay. José Arnoldo. I'm here. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Ok. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Marisela del Carmen Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marisela. Moisés Alberto. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Noemí Albertina. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Rafael Antonio Barrientos. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Reina Margarita Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rubén de Jesús Campos. Rubén de Jesús. Me parece que lo había visto. Stephanie Guadalupe. Stephanie Guadalupe. Judy Araceli. Here, teacher. Thank you, Judy. Jose Rudy. Jose Rudy Acevedo. Ana Mercedes. Ana Mercedes Amaya. María Angélica Godínez. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth Medrano. Present. Thank you. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez. Okay, we finish with the attendance. So
Okay. Well, let me continue sharing the screen because we have this exercise. And let's see, uh, based on what we read on this chart, let's try to put the correct um, scenery here. I'll give you a couple of minutes. You can do it in your notebook and then we can share uh, the results or the, the answers. Okay, have, have you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, volunteer for the number two. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, for me, it will be the boss may want to start the event with a speech. That is correct. The boss might want to start the event with a speech. That is correct. Excellent, Belen. Thank you so much. Uh, number three. Me, teacher. Thank you. <clears throat> the sales team could try to bundle up the food with collect collectible marks. Excellent. The sales team might want... Mm -hmm. Excellent. Or if you have good, it's okay as well. Thank you so much. And number three. Me, teacher. Thank you. I, uh, I like. The manager, uh, the, man, the manager might like to launch a new line of kids meals. Excellent. Might like. Number five. Me, teacher. Thank you. The event could be schedule for Christmas, Christmas to increase sales. Okay, the event could be scheduled for Christmas to increase sales. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number six. My life. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. My life, the teacher. Store, the store might want to use a loyalty offering for people who do business with us frequently. Okay, excellent. Uh, ya teníamos el might, el want, so it is the sort might want, but you can change it. Si, uh, como la cambió Juan, verdad? That's okay también. Si la cambió, that's fine. Como le decía, that is want or like, and no, no specific rule, okay? Uh, so the only thing is that it makes it to sound more polite. 
Any questions for this exercise? Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. could you repeat the word scheduled? Scheduled. Scheduled. Uh -huh. It's como Joel, al final, schedule. Schedule. Okay, Excellent. Schedule. Thank you. Excellent. Like the shoes. <laughs> like the shoes, like a sketchers. Casi siempre de eso cabal me acuerdo. Los sketchers o la ketchup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> schedule. Schedule. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's the same like a schedule. Like, uh, Perdón, eh, no le comprendí porque escuché al mismo tiempo. Hecho amor. con papa. Es uh -huh. <laughs> like the same or schedule. Schedule, ajá, es que el schedule, la palabra schedule está eh, siempre relacionada a una agenda. Ok. Ajá, entonces puede decir a yo que mi schedule, eh, my schedule is like this, right? Y ya decirlo, o decir que eh, vamos a agendar una reunión o que la reunión está agendada. So it is like, eh, siempre tiene que ver con un itinerario, una agenda. Uh -huh. Ok, techo. Ajá, so esas son las definiciones de la palabra schedule, eh, itinerario en, o agenda. En este caso que tiene el LED al final es como un passive voice, perdón. Agendado para, uh -huh. okay. está en pasado. The event could be, uh -huh. está en pasivo, cabal, scheduled for Christmas. Uh -huh. Es como decir, está agendado o fue, podría ser agendado. The event could be scheduled. So scheduled is a verb. Yes, it is. Um, Puedes, o sea, sí es, eh, tiene las dos funciones. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto, what's your schedule like? Ahí está funcionando como un noun. ¿Cómo es tu itinerario? Ok. It's like the cool. Like, sorry. For example, cool, it's uh, the past of the verb can. And also is the, the it's a moral expression. No, en ambos casos, bueno, son funciones diferentes como modal está ayudando y como okay. verbo es una acción, pero con okay. lo de schedule, cuando decimos noun es un nombre. Ah, ok. Y verbo, pues es una acción, entonces la palabra schedule tiene las dos funciones, depende cómo yo lo quiero usar, si lo quiero usar como noun sería un horario, un itinerario, si lo quiero usar como verbo entonces es agendar. La acción. Okay. Uh -huh. Esa es la diferencia. Por ejemplo, si yo le quiero preguntar cómo es tu horario, cómo está tu horario en general, cómo es normalmente, what's your schedule like? Eh, se lo voy a poner en el chat escrito. Ay, permítame que tengo que cambiar aquí. Ok. What's, or oh, what is to make it complete? What is your schedule like ok, aquí le estoy preguntando cómo es uh, cómo es tu agenda ok, entonces ahí está funcionando como un noun como un nombre, agenda ok sure, uh, sorry I, I have a question okay, one second I schedule a medical appointment for Saturday. Ok, aquí como usted puede ver en la segunda oración que le estoy escribiendo, I schedule, yo agendé, esto es la acción, lo que yo hice, es aquí hasta como verbo, yo agendé una cita médica para el sábado, I schedule a medical appointment for Saturday. Ajá, uh, ¿dónde estaba la otra pregunta? I have a question as speedy. In the, in the third sentence, uh, what is the meaning of the third sentence? Uh, the meaning, bundle up full in with. Español, uh -huh. Okay, no, no, that is not 
todas las preguntas son importantes. Ok, so you may ask, so bundle, la palabra bundle es unir o, o agrupar o poner algo junto. El sales team se refiere al, al equipo de ventas. Sí, sí. Uh, ok, the sales team could try to bundle up the food with collective mouths. Ok, entonces dice que el, el, el sales team, el equipo de ventas, podría intentar unir eh, la comida con tazones coleccionables. Mugs es un tazón. Un ok. Coleccionables. Ajá, eso sería. Muchas gracias. Any other question? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta? No, teacher. Ok, quedamos bien con los ejemplos de la palabra schedule. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. And that's okay. It is practice. Hay un um, diccionario, es el Macmillan. Y creo que hay una aplicación de ese diccionario, el Macmillan. Es, es bien bonito porque es inglés, inglés, pero ustedes ya están en un nivel que lo pueden comprender. Es inglés, inglés y tiene las palabras eh, y tiene así como lo que acabamos de hacer. Schedule como verb, schedule como noun y, cada, y, y da ejemplos. ¿Puedo escribir pues, el nombre en el grupo de WhatsApp, teacher? Sí, sí, se lo puede escribir o voy a buscar la aplicación y les voy a mandar la fotito. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, okay. teacher. Y tiene para, para sonido, para pronunciación. Es, es, bien, es bien completo. Uh -huh. Ok, so that would be it for today. And see you tomorrow for more. Thank you for joining. Sleep well. Que la bendiga y los bendiga a todos. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.